and welcome to Wales. I am spending the next couple days um, here on the Gower Peninsula in South Wales, which is super exciting. I have my absolutely huge paddleboard with me, which I have just brought all the way on the train um, from Paddington um, in London. Really looking forward to exploring the next couple days. Hopefully some more weather like this will be amazing because then I will spend as much time as possible on the water. Um, otherwise, just gonna see what Gower has in store. I'm here on um, the very end of the peninsula um, called Rosilli, which is this gorgeous little spot right here. Absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm gonna head down there and get going with some paddleboarding. Fun fact, those little posts which you can kind of see sticking out of the ground there are the remains of an 1800s shipwreck which came ashore here in a storm and there's more of it over there which is pretty cool. I thought I'd just let you know. Let's go paddle. All right, so we're heading over towards uh, that away, which is Worm's Head. Um, it is absolutely gorgeously stunning water. I don't know if I'll make it over there because it looks a little bit far, but uh, I want to go check it out. Wow. This is going to be one of the most amazing paddles of my life. <laughs> this is just incredible. So I'm not sure how much you can see but we're getting closer to this little um, outcrop here called Worm's Head. Um, this gorgeous rugged piece of rock kind of sticking out of the water um, and it's just beautiful. Like the closer that I get the better it looks. I'll try and turn us around one hand of paddling. Woohoo! So, um, I basically made it to Worm's Head, which is really cool. Um, however, <laughs> um, I found myself in a little patch of jellyfish right now. Um, and they're all right, they're about the size of a fist. Um, and I was like, oh, hey jellyfish, uh, I'm not gonna fall into the water right now. Um, and then I was looking around, and then I saw the mama jellyfish, which was about um, yay big. Um, so, that's mildly terrifying, but gorgeous over here. Let's get back to the shore. <laughs> So um, I ended up facing my fears and uh, braving the jellyfish, of which there have been now lots of big mama ones. Um, but look at this, how cool is that? And then you can see all the way to the end of Worm's Head there. Seals! There's another one over there as well. How cool!
So, um, made it in for my paddle. Got some amazing wildlife, jellyfish and seals and the like. It's still about, ooh, it's just after five o'clock, I think. Had a nice swim and just gonna chill here for a little bit and then get the bus back. And that'll be day one done. to the mumbles so almost um, at the hotel now um, such a lovely evening morning um, just woken up it's very early as you can see um, just making myself some breakfast in a mug. Got some muesli going on there. Um, it's not 7 o'clock yet. Um, I've got a taxi coming at 7.30. Uh, gonna head to the beach and hopefully there's some a little, a little bit of surf. We'll see. Um, weather's not looking too bad. It's be getting nice later. It's a very hot night. Um, but we good. So I just got to Caswell Bay, gonna pump up the old uh, paddleboard and uh, head out there because there's quite a few people out there already. Um, yeah, lovely, nice, calm morning actually. So yeah, it should be good. I've gone with the wetsuit because it's a little bit chilly. Let's go. So the little uh, one two foot waves which we did have for a little bit there um, have kind of died out now so um, I'm actually really glad that I got here when I did, um, being on the water by eight I think it's, pretty, it's a pretty good effort. I'm just going to go for a little um, tour around uh, the rock and yeah just enjoy it, it's a little fluffy out here but um, you know the sun's coming out so all is well. Let's go! around the um, rock here. I don't think I will go all the way just because I'm obviously by myself and I haven't really been around here before. Um, but it's a gorgeous morning um, and such a beautiful, beautiful area. I'm just going to have a little explore and then probably head back to the beach. Right, so I've hopped out of the water, put my board back in its bag and I'm now just sitting having a little chill on the beach and eating a, I guess it's my lunch, it's kind of a bit early for lunch but this is all I managed to pick up at the shops before uh, last night and um, we've got some fruitcake which I'm eating with a spoon. The only cutlery that they had at the um, 
the hotel so teaspoon it is <laughs> such a weird snack but you know any time of day fruitcake been such a lovely day I'm just gonna sit here and chill um, for another couple hours um, and then head back slightly more moody mumbles today uh, the weather um, it's not amazing <laughs> I'm not gonna lie but it's not terrible either so um, instead of the beach today I'm gonna head to um, just along for a beautiful coastal walk from the mumbles around to Langland Bay so I'll be following my OS map which I bought um, just before I left love an OS map okay. just a bit, of, a bit more of a chill one today I was out seeing some friends last night and uh, got back a little bit late so it's been a very slow for me particularly start to the day I mean it's like it's the afternoon and I've only just left the hotel which is like really not me but yeah nice little wander around the cliffs should be good So we've made it to Langland Bay, which is this. Lovely, stunning co uh, coastal walk around from Mumbles to here. Literally only took about probably 45 minutes and that was a very gentle stroll. Still a bit grey, um, but rain's holding off so far so I can't complain. Um, and I actually think there's something quite lovely and zen about um, the sea on a grey day. Um, and it's actually just been really nice just to kind of sit and listen to the waves uh, which I did for a fair bit of the little coastal walk. <laughs> I can see a couple of people taking their paddle boards out today. I think I just needed a rest day from it to be honest but um, hopefully tomorrow morning I'll be out again for one last day. Um, so yeah, just going to enjoy the rest of this lovely little walk and wind my way back to Mumbles, maybe pop into a couple of shops and that'll be my very chill day three Saturday done. Good morning, um, welcome to day four, my last day of my little um, South Wales Gower trip. Uh, the sun is out again, yay! Um, and today for my last day I'm heading to uh, Three Cliffs Bay, so I'm just waiting for a bus now. Gonna be a little bit of a walk, hopefully all going well, should be able to um, go via Pennard Castle, um, which is little ruins of a castle on the way to the beach, so um, it's meant to be really pretty, so hopefully be there soon. Right, so I've just hopped off the bus at Southgate and I'm going to try and desperately find Pennard Castle um, over a non-signposted golf course, um, so wish me luck with this big baby. Woo! Right, so just genuinely kind of guessing where on earth I am um, in this golf course. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm on the right path, but Hopefully, at some point, a castle will appear. It's pretty though. Just don't want to get hit by any golf balls. According to my map, there should be... Hey! 
the castle. So here we go, Pinard Castle, um, or the ruins of it. Um, this castle is from the 1200s, I believe. How amazing is this? And down there is where I'm heading next, Three Cliffs Bay. Goodness knows how I'm actually going to get there, but I guess I'm going to find out. <laughs> wow, how gorgeous. Right, so uh, I just made it through a slightly perilous so descent from the castle down to the river with sand, which I mean, at normal times is a bit of a struggle, but with this, makes things about 20 to 30 kgs a bit more of a struggle. But we're here walking past this Oxbend River, um, which leads to Three Cliffs Bay. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to get there still, so I'm just going to concentrate for a second. And all the way in the distance there is the castle. Oh. So I just made it down to the beach and <laughs> I've got some of those end of trip feels. Right now I'm fancying using my paddleboard for more of a headrest as you can see than actually getting out in it. But tired really. Um, that was a big old trek down from that hill up there with a massive big board so it's kind of wiped me out a bit, I'm not going to lie. But I think what's important to remember, like especially when you're doing things by yourself, is sometimes it's okay to just chill. I'm not very good at doing that, especially when I'm by myself, I kind of want to keep going and going and going. And I look at a day ahead of me and I don't want to waste it. Um, and I think, well, okay, I can get to that mountain, I can climb down that, I can go and sit on that beach, I can put my paddleboard out. And I make myself these itineraries just to kind of like get through the day and I, I do genuinely love like getting to the end of the day and just feeling exhausted because I've done so much and seen so much. But at the same time I think it's just as important to remember that it's okay just to sit on the beach and do nothing if that's what you feel like doing. It's been a lovely trip, a little bit slower paced <laughs> even though I've done so much but I'm okay with that. I think it's kind of probably just what I needed at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to enjoy this last day, hopefully get some sun, get some sea. Well I'll tell you what, I was uh, getting very comfortable in the sand just reading my book and uh, got very very close to actually not coming in at all but I am so glad that I did. It's only when you're really like out here that you can fully appreciate how dramatic this uh, scenery and these cliffs and rocks are. It's just so rugged and um, untouched. Wow. Let's go. And so that's it, the end of the trip. Um, it seemed kind of fitting to do this out on uh, out in the water because I think that's where I've spent a fair bit of this trip. <laughs> Being out in my board has kind of uh, perked me right up again, as it usually does. It's been absolutely amazing to see a new part of the country, a new part of Wales. Gower is, so now it's back to London, back to planning the next trip, and um, I'll see you there. If you did enjoy this trip um, and you'd like to see where I get up to next, where my next little adventure takes me, please do like and subscribe um, and uh, I shall see you on the next adventure.